Yeah, hi, this is Carl from Western Weld Academy. I'm gonna do a little how-to video on some MIG welding. If you have a little project at home that you're working on, maybe a lawnmower or things like that needs fixed, this will be a good video on some wire for you to do. So when setting up, make sure you have a bottle. And a bottle that needs to be for gas is 75-25. 75% argon, 25% CO2. And you can pick these up at your local welding supply store. Uh, second thing you need, and it usually comes with the machine, if not, you'll have to get it at your supply store, is a gauge with a hose. Now, you want to hook your uh, gauge up to your bottle. Your hose will plug into the back of your machine. Now, this machine we have here is a big machine. The ones that you might have at home are just a little bit smaller, but they plug in the same way. You'll just hook the hose up, it'll plug in, you'll just thread it into the back of the machine, you're all set. Okay, now, with your wire, Depending on the machine you have, and for most folks, if you're at home or at your garage doing a little welding, you're going to have some smaller machines. So I recommend using a 0.25 or a 0.30 wire diameter, okay? Just your any kind of Lincoln Electric L-56 wire is a good all-around wire for anything. Now, when adjusting your voltage and, and wire speed, usually on the machines, where your wire is located, you open up the door, there's a chart there, okay? Now, determining your wire size, the thickness of metal, will tell you your voltage and your speed wire. Now, you kind of want to have the perfect stick out, and roughly that's about a half inch away from your tip. Now, if you look here, this is too long. If you got yourself a pair of wire cutters that works really well, just cut it back about a half an inch, and you're ready to weld. So to get started with actually welding, what you want to do is get your tip about a half inch to three quarters inches away from the metal that you're welding on. And then once you get that, you just push the trigger and start welding. A real simple method when you're welding with wire is just nice little circles. And make sure you keep traveling. I like to push it, nice little circles, just like that. It'll make a nice looking bead. Now, your travel speed, when you're welding, when you're looking at your bead about 3 16 to a quarter inch wide in diameter. So if you start traveling faster, what's going to happen is, is your bead's going to get smaller. Now if you start tra traveling too slow, your bead's going to get wider. So a good travel speed, like I said, is going to be about a 3 16 to a quarter inch wide uh, bead. And just about like this. Nice little circular motions about this speed right here. So the first few times that you try to run this bead, it's probably not gonna look the best, okay? But if you practice and make sure you try to keep that bead about 3 16 to a quarter inch wide, that'll maintain your travel speed if you're paying attention to that. You do it a couple more times, it'll look good. So here's about the right travel speed and the circular motions I was talking about. Like I said, 3 16 to a quarter inch wide bead, your right travel speed, it'll look like that. One thing with MIG welding when you're using gas is to make sure that it is not really windy. Make sure you do it inside your garage, not outside if the wind's really blowing. Because if it does blow, what's going to do is it's going to blow your gas away and then you're going to get a bunch of little holes in your weld and that's not what you want. If you guys thought this video was helpful, like, subscribe, we'll see you on the next weld. Thank you.